What is up YouTube? It is Default Band-Aid and in our last episode I showed you five social taboos and things not to do in Skyrim. Now, if you are a following, you will notice that I'm right outside the Helgen Keep and this is where you will be at the very beginning of the game. Now, I'm going to make this video as quick as possible because I'm going to show you how to get a house for 100% free. You don't have to do any quests, you don't have to be friends with any Jarls, you don't have to have any gold. So that means that this isn't one of those glitches where you pay 5,000 gold for Breeze Home and then take all your money out of your inventory and put it in a chest or something before the steward collects your money. That's, that's not what this is. Now if you look at my compass, there is a little shack up ahead. And it is basically right behind the Guardian Stones, which I'm going to show you first. And that's just because, if you've never played this before, these Guardian Stones are pretty much the best... Well, one of the best standing stones you can get. Especially at the very beginning of the game, because they're so close to where you start. So, pick the Mage Stone or the Warrior Stone based on what you would like to learn faster. I already have that one. Do not activate the Thief Stone, that will just get you in trouble from my experience. So just, if you're going to activate the Thief Stone, wait until you're high enough level and have money to pay off the bounty that you will most likely acquire from leveling up your thieving skills. Now you're going to cross this river and you're going to head towards the shack on the compass that I mentioned earlier. That is Anise's cabin. Now, Anise is a uh, coven witch. So, you have to watch yourself around her, but you won't right now because she is basically undercover, I guess you'd say. She's pretending to be an innocent old woman. I'm. It's so nice to have a visitor. Yeah, well, why do you have a bunch of, like, mage folks on then if you're, if you're, if you're just an old lady? Right. Okay, so there's this cellar over here. You're going to unlock this. Now, you don't have to do this, but keep in mind she will become hostile after you go down here and the reason i suggest you go down here is because not only will you unlock it and see that there's an alchemy and enchanting table down here which is awesome because the first house that you would normally buy breeze home only has an alchemy table and not an arcane enchanter but there is this note here that will explain to you why a niece deserves to die Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven, and your training will truly begin. So that just goes to show she's actually a witch, if you didn't kind of guess that by the Hagraven feathers and the potions and the, skull, the skulls everywhere. But there are two things up here that will really help you and that's a weak weak poison and this potent paralysis po poison so the potent paralysis poison that's a tongue tri twister will paralyze your opponent for seven seconds and the weak poison will paralyze your enemy for or won't paralyze your enemy it will do 15 points of damage so i'm gonna go straight to my poisons and potions and i'm going to put that on my bow you can use whatever weapon you want but I would suggest using the bow. Now, I'm gonna Still tell here. Lydia to wait here. As you wish, my thing. Just even though I told you not to do this, I'm gonna t sh do that just to show you that you can kill this person without having a follower. All right. So, if you check my difficulty, I'm on add up. Now you can turn it all the way down to novice if you're having trouble with this. But I would I would not suggest that. So just to make sure that Lydia out? As you will, doesn't get in the way, I'm actually gonna tell her to life. stay down cellar. Alright. So she should stay right down here. I'm gonna tell her to stay. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. Whatever, okay, so she won't she won't listen to me anyway. That oh that ratchet. Huh? Okay, I'm not even gonna finish that. Okay, so here. wait here, whatever. I'm just going to show you, you don't even need her. I got this. She's going to be right out here, northeast. Alright. So make sure you got that bow equipped or whatever. Huh? Pop out. Bang. Paralyzed. Or sh sh that. Or she should be paralyzed. Now I'm going to switch over to this magic poison. So she can't use her magic. And she is paralyzed, as you can see. And. 
didn't even need Lydia. She's over here swinging her crap, but you don't even need that. So, you can loot her. She doesn't really have anything that great except these mage robes. And she's got this little garden here. You can get cabbage, leeks, potato plants. Nothing that great. But the cool thing is there's this cupboard. And now this cupboard might not look like much, but you can actually store all your stuff in here. And it will not regenerate an inventory of things. So, for instance, there's some ch some barrels and stuff throughout Skyrim that will regenerate every once in a while, like once a week or so. But this will never regenerate, this cupboard. So you can store your crap in here, and you will never lose it. So, I will probably do another video where I just show you me living in this cabin for an extended period of time just to prove that you can store stuff in here. But... I am so confident that this stuff will stay in here that I will put in both these amethysts, all three of these garnets, this uh, gold ore, two of these grand soul gems, porker tusk, and five of these mammoth tusks. So you can see that all that stuff's in there. Notice how I don't have to steal that stuff. I only have to seal the stuff in red. So, that will stay there. That will not regenerate. And you can also sleep in this bed because it's not an own bed. So, just, just to show you that that works. You now have your own house all to your own. Yes, it may not have a door. Yes, you might wake up in the middle of the night and there might be some bandits right outside your house that can be inside your house because you don't have a door. But hey, it's better than nothing, and I just showed you how to get a house in less than 10 minutes. So you have started Skyrim, you have your own player-owned house, and it only took 5 minutes. Now you may notice that I got that well-rested bonus, and I will cover that right now. The cool thing about having a bed is if you have this rested bonus, all your skills will improve 5% faster for 8 hours. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, if it helped you out, please leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.